Let's have a look at question 5 in this video. So Marta has 150 euros to spend each week. Now she buys malted milk, let's just call it milk, and a composite good. Suppose that milk costs 250 per bag and the composite good costs 1 euro per unit. Now sketch the budget constraint and what's the opportunity cost in terms of bags. Okay, let's see what matters here. What's the data? We have a hundred we have 150 euros, that's our income. So that's gonna be our M, our money to spend. We have the prices, the meal costs 250, the composite cost good costs one. And let's use this to write our budget constraint. Remember, the budget constraint is a budget line. So we would write, we would like to have a function of y in terms of x. In this case, we will have a function of y in terms of the milk. So let's write the general formula first. We spend money on milk, so price of milk times milk, plus the price of the composite good times the composite good equals to the money that we spend. Uh, yeah, it's gonna be M and M. But no problem, we're gonna substitute values in a second and it's gonna be okay. Uh, so price of milk is 250, 2.5 times M, plus the price of Y is one euro times Y equals to the money, which is 150 euros to spend. Now let's keep Y on one side only and take the M on the other side. So one times Y is just Y equals two. We're taking this, over there. So we have 150 minus 2.5 times the milk. Okay, we have everything. Let's draw it on a budget line. So let's let's draw the graph. Let's zoom out, get some space here and here. So we would have one axis and the other axis and our goods are milk and the composite good. Now, what do we need? We need the intercept, so we need 150. That is our intercept over here, and it makes sense because 150, that's the total money that we have. If we spend only on the composite good, which is one euro, we could buy 150 units of Y. Now, what's gonna be the intercept over here so we can sketch the line? Well, let's see. The milk costs 2.5 euros. If we spend 150, let's calculate here, 150, if we spend on milk only, so we pay 2.5 euros per bag, we would have in total uh, 60 bags of milk. So the quantity here, maximum quantity of milk would be 60. So we should have a rather steep slope. Let's put it something like that. And let's just combine the line. So there, there we have it. Uh, sound good. Let me just try again. We would have something like this. So that would be our budget line. This is the way we can write our budget line is a function of Y in terms of M, the composite good in terms of milk. Now the second question is, what is the opportunity cost in terms of bags of milk of an additional unit of composite good. What is an additional unit of composite good? Well, that is our slope. What does the slope shows? It shows us, it shows us if we want an additional, um, so the slope shows us the change in Y relative to the change in M. Meaning that if we want an additional bag of milk, if milk increases by one unit, the composite good has to decrease by 2.5 units. So in terms of in terms of of milk, if we want to say the opportunity cost of one composite good, so if we want to buy one composite good, we will do the reverse. If we want one composite good, let's write it over here. If we want one composite good, one composite good, if it increases by one, milk has to decrease by one over 2.5. So it depends on how you read the graph. If we read it just like the slope, the slope shows us the opportunity cost of milk in terms of Y. So if we increase milk by one unit, how much do we have to decrease Y? But if we read it in the opposite way, if we want to increase Y and decrease milk, it's gonna be the inverse of the slope. It's gonna be one over the slope. I hope this makes sense. We are done.